Hi everybody, Conchetta from KD Code Webs here. So I decided to make you guys a video on the HTML tree. Now, I decided to make this video because I do understand that last week I created a video on JavaScript um, using creating um, JavaScript objects and uh, I know that was pretty advanced with the constructor. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, this is a computer programming group for beginners. So let's go back to the beginning. First of all, we need to understand about um, the use of te text editors. So a text editor um, is something such as Sublime. Sublime takes in computer programming code and um, it basically transcribes it for client side. This is the client side um, browser, right? So when you insert a code inside of the text editor, and there's different text editors, but when you insert the code inside of the text editor, it basically knows how to mark up and create this web page, right? So in the very beginning of this, I think it's important for us to understand that, you know, YouTube is a computer software application, right? So this is a Glyphicon. Um, this is an input field, like users can search in here. Um, in this case, I searched for a Douglas uh, Croc video. Um, but this is like another little Glyphicon. And this is an app's logo, but it's functional, right? So if you click this, click on it, then it leads you to someplace else. Um, and sometimes, you know, the buttons, they become functional using JavaScript. But for this, we're really just going to study... Um, uh, we're going to look at text editors. We're going to think about the different types of text editors. So first step is you need to find a text editor, right? So what I would do is just go to text editor. You do text editor Mac, different text editors. And you can literally look up different text editors. You can look up images. Sometimes I just look at pictures, oh, that doesn't help us, so let's not look at a picture. It actually shows the text editor in use. Um, Sublime, this is the one that I'm using right now, but there are, um, let's type in various computer programming. Maybe we have to like specify a little bit more. Text editors, let's see what happens when we do that. So, okay, better, better. So a big part of um, computer programming and development is also like being able to um, diversify these key terms. Key terms are everything and it it basically narrows down the information that you retrieve. So in this case we have Sublime comes up as number one, Notepad, Dreamweaver, TextMate them. Alright, so you need to find a text editor and once you find your text editor you could utilize um, some different codes inside of it. So the way that we're gonna start this is we start by creating a symbol so this is like an opening tag right here and we have to tell the computer hey computer we don't want to tell the computer that <laughs> but we want to tell the computer hey computer doc type HTML right that's the first step so in this case we're telling the computer we want to create like a software application doc type and we're going to use hypertext markup language to do so so in order to mark the text up in this case it's a doc type right this is considered to um, you know dom but it's a doc type and in order to mark up the doc type we need to use html to do so okay so um you might be wondering well in addition to doc type what else do we need this is a part of the, the beginning formation of the html tree um i know you probably heard about the html tree um, if nobody ever explained it to you in the way that I'm explaining to you, I'm trying to give you guys more details so that you understand the functionality of this X HTML tree. Um, it's very helpful. It's a nice tree, beautiful tree. We have to build it. Um, so HTML. So we want to also, a part of this is you want to tell your tree that, hey, <clears throat> we need to utilize English. So HTML language, you know, it would look something like this. Now you might be wondering, hmm, what happens with this? Well, nothing right now. So we have to actually save it. <coughs> when you save it, you don't save it as this. Right? You're going to save it as maybe index.html. You could call it, it doesn't necessarily have to be index. You could call it first.html. Let's call it first. Saving it to the desktop. Save. Now you see that it changed colors. 
It just means that it's live. It's it's awake now. We can proceed. <laughs> All right. So now, also part of this tree, we need a head tag. We're gonna open with a head tag. This is an opening tag. We didn't close it yet, but when you open, you should probably close as well and actually close it for us. So let's put a little bit of space between there. Right now, we're just focusing on the root of the tree. Inside of that, we need something that's called a meta. And now, I could explain this to you guys, but the best way to do it is to go to Google. So meta, <clears throat> meta simply means data, right? So char set means a collection, it means characters. Basically, and the type of characters that we're going to use is going to be the UF, no, I'm sorry, the UTF character set. So let's look that up and see exactly what it would mean. By text editors, we don't need you anymore. We need this. <clears throat> so it's encoding characters. What's unique about this type of encoding character, the UTF-8, is that it's universal, global. It's a global meaning that you know, if your application appeared somewhere else, someplace else in the world, it would also be recognized. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So within this head, in the, in the head we have um, the meta tag. In addition to meta, we also need a title. And for this, we could just call it my first page. So if we open title, we also have to close title title close for us nice okay so that's the first part of it the next part of it is in the web page we actually need and I didn't structure this exactly right but I'm writing it in a way that I'm hoping that you guys could understand this body body means what's going to occur this is the body of the web page See where my cursor is going? This is the body of the web page. Okay, right in here. The other stuff that we just typed into Sublime, we can't even see this. But as developers, we know that we need it. So in the body of my page, I want to, well, if we open body, let's close body now so we don't forget. Right? In the body, I'm going to put another tag. I want to give, I want to create a title. So let's do H6. What's an H6? H6 is a big title. Hello world. My name is K. Well, KD. I might as well say KD Code Webs. Huh? Little PR there. Right? So now, <clears throat> we also need to close the H6. So inside of the body, we are creating um, an H6. is a tag that says we're going to use a certain type of... Um, not font type, but we're going to make it the size of it. It's going to be bold. All right, so now let's save that. And now we're going to test that out. Let's open it in the browser and see what happens. If we get an error, we just have to... Oh, there we go. Oh, H6, sorry. Error, huh? H6 is actually the smallest one. My bad. We need an H1. H1 is the big one. <laughs> we like big ones. All right, let's go. So let's see. Boop! There you go. So that's your first software application. Getting something to appear inside of the browser. If we can do this, eventually we could create something like this. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be continuing this video a little bit later. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.